Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we're starting at the beginning of our journey asking the most fundamental question, which is what is cloud computing? So looking into the dictionary, cloud computing is described as the practice of using a network of remote servers hosted on the internet to store, manage, and process data rather than a local server or personal computer. So when we're talking about local, we describe this as being on premise, so being your own office or your own data center. Uh, and so this is where you own the servers, you hire the IT people, you pay the rent or the real estate, you take all the risk. Uh, whereas with a cloud provider, uh, if you're utilizing them, it's someone else who owns the servers, someone else who hires the IT people, someone else who pays uh, or rents the real estate, and you are only left with being responsible for configuring your cloud services and code, and someone else takes care of the rest. Sounds great, doesn't it? Um, so now what I want to do is just give you a quick overview of how servers have evolved and what we describe as cloud computing from a technical perspective. And we'll probably dive deeper into this uh, later in the course, but we're just going to get a good overview here to understand from a business perspective. So way back in the day, what we had was dedicated servers. If you wanted um, uh, a server to run your web app or your technology, what you had to do is you had to go buy a single dedicated physical machine and that was for one specific business. And dedicated servers are still used today, um, but there's some downsides with them. They're very expensive, they're high maintenance. However, you do get uh, a, a great level of customi uh, customization and you, and you potentially can have better, uh, better security based on your use case. Then uh, came along was virtual private servers. So we still had one physical machine, but we uh, uh, and it was still dedicated to a single business. But we figured out how to take that physical machine and virtualize it into submachines. So now we could uh, fully utilize or better utilize that physical server with running multiple apps. We didn't have to buy four different servers for four different apps. We could easily run four uh, web apps into four virtual submachines. Uh, then uh, we had shared hosting. And so this made it a lot easier for uh, anybody who's building websites or WordPresses. But the idea here is that you had one physical machine and it was shared by hundreds of businesses. So it wasn't a single business sharing the cost, it was multiple businesses. So this relies on most tenants under utilizing their resources though. So if you had 100 people on a server, uh, and uh, one person uh, used more of the server than the others, then you could uh, all potentially suffer uh, fr uh, from that case. But at, at the very least, you are getting uh, very, very cheap servers, but there are definitely some uh, limitations. So now coming down to cloud hosting, cloud hosting gives us the best of both worlds. So we have multiple physical machines that act as one system, which it could be described as the cloud. And uh, that system is abstracted away into multiple cloud services. So you get the you get flexibility, uh, scalability, it's very secure, it's very cost effective, and it's highly configurable. So um, that is where we're at. Uh, and so that is generally what cloud computing and cloud hosting is.